Alrighty, I'm gonna need some opinions on some solar panel placement. The sun has just come over the trees over here. It's a little hard to see because it's cloudy now. Every time I come out here, the sun is the sun goes behind clouds or it's real hazy. The next morning, 7:59. This is 8 a.m. and we're looking for the shadow in this area right here. We're going to hopefully catch it going all the way this way and we'll see what time I have full sun on my panels. All right, we set up a time-lapse camera. I hope that it doesn't fall from, well, wind or bird or something crazy like that. I think the shadow should be finished around 11.30 or noon today, obviously because all of the trees right here. You can see the sun right there, so we still have a little bit ways to go. I could potentially put a rack right down there to get the morning sun because, I mean, it's 8 a.m. I could be charging right now. However, that's the hill that everybody cruises down and then runs through the trees and the fence and all that stuff and into the backyard. So they would just destroy that array if I had one there. So I'm not gonna put one over there. Time now is nine o'clock and we're getting a lot more sun right over there. Absolutely zero sun on the panels right now. Still got some good sun right down there and the sun is almost over the trees. Almost, but not quite. Alrighty, I'm gonna need some opinions on some solar panel placement. And this is gonna be mainly for winter time charging, okay? So right now the time is 9.30 a.m. and the sun is just barely creeping over those trees, okay? So, my thoughts are, now that the sun is going away, I want to hear your opinions on solar panel placement and that is mainly for these sun gold power panels right here these are like my best panels right now these are 370 watts i installed these maybe six months ago me and my buddy jimmy came up here basically all we did is remove the santan solar panels these are 240 watt panels we took those off and just slapped those on i did make a video on that i haven't completed it yet because as soon as i put those on there all i can think about is this east facing roof right here so I can basically start charging sooner because even in the summertime, I don't get full sun on these panels until, well, we'll find out here in a couple hours, but I'm pretty sure it's around noon. You know, we'll get all the way to the end over there. In the winter time, you know, it's roughly the same. I won't get full sun on the panels until noon, but right over here in this corner, like this takes forever for sun to get fully on these panels right here. Obviously due to all of my trees, which I do like. I don't wanna get rid of these because, I mean, they make some nice shade. I like shade, however, I don't like shade, you know, on the panels. All right, so then I'm gonna need your opinions or thoughts is, should I move the sun gold power panels to the east facing roof so I can charge a lot sooner? And then if I do do that, I could put the other 12 Santan solar panels back on there. And then I can put all 24 panels on one array on the inverter. And then obviously, if that's over there, I can have that on array two. And then potentially, I could actually put another array right over here. That's a, that's a thought or an option, all right? And then if we go over here to the ground mount panels, which maybe I'll have to get off the roof, these panels over here, they don't get full sun until noon either, at least this array right here, because of this big maple tree right here. That's just, you know, what I'm working with. Hey buddy, what you doing in there? What are you doing? Nothing? Okay. All right, so down here, this is where I've been housing or storing all the extra solar panels. So I have some of the Santan solar panels right there, 
and the other ones are sitting like right back here. I could put those back up where the Sun Gold power panels are right now. And then these panels right here are some Jinko ones that I got, I don't know, just a couple of months ago over the winter time, so I could add more panels. I could put these potentially on the roof. Okay, so I've got all of these panels up here that I could still utilize. And then if we go over here, don't mind all of my leaves on the ground. We had a nice hailstorm last night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here it comes. Holy crap. Jeez. I mean, that one right there is huge. Wow. Well, power's still on. Those are pretty big. Oh. I don't get hit. I mean, those are pretty big. That's definitely bigger than a quarter, for sure. Jeez. That, that, was, that one just hit. Nope. I mean, look at the size of that. That, that is, that's bigger than a, that's got to be at least a golf ball right there. I know the lighting is pretty terrible now. That one's huge. And it's been literally hailing for like 15 minutes at least. <laughs> I'll go inside and see what it sounds like. Yeah, you can definitely hear it in here. Oh yeah. All right, so over here on the ground mount area, on this array right here, I could potentially replace the panels over here with some of the ones that I have right over there. However, I wouldn't be able to fit as many on here because honestly, I mean, this is working out really, really good with that signature solar ground mount that I installed last year. I mean, honestly, I'll probably just leave this one as it is because it is just working fan-freaking-tastic. And I, I just think this looks beautiful. And what's great about this one is you technically can't really see it from the street over there because it's kind of tucked in behind this wall right here, which is fan-freaking-tastic. I mean, honestly, this array is working out perfectly as it is. I think it looks beautiful and it works great. I think I'll honestly just leave that one as it is. This temporary slash permanent ground mount that I threw up last year, I mean, I, you know, I, you can definitely see this one from the street and it doesn't look, it doesn't look great, honestly. So, but what I was getting at is over here in this area, these panels, again, don't get any sun until noon because of this big maple tree right here, okay? In the winter time, it's basically the same thing. Uh, my neighbor's trees, these little tiny trees right here, in the dead of winter time, will cast shade basically in this whole area, which sucks. But I could also potentially remove this rack and then get some of those ground mount racks, either from Signature Solar or Current Connected, and then line this area with you know, a couple of strings right through here, which would be kind of nice because they'll be nice and low and you wouldn't be able to see them very well from the street. Like that guy, he wouldn't be able to see him. So that's some thoughts over here. I could potentially add panels over here for west facing sun, but I haven't convinced the wife yet to let me do that over here because she just doesn't want to have solar panels viewable from the street, which I get. I don't really want everybody to know that I have solar panels, even though you can see them from the street. I don't want everybody to know, you know, I can still power my entire house whenever the grid goes out, even though I have all the lights on. I could potentially put an array right here as well. And if I did do that, I would probably want to get some more brand new panels, kind of like the sun gold power panels right over there because those are those are nice and clean looking everything's black you know and i could put a nice array right there but that would be later on in the future if i can convince the wife all righty i did buy a drone i'm not a very good flyer but i've practiced just a little tiny bit oh, 
Okay, here we go. Hello. All right, so there's the two arrays. Looking very, very shady. I wonder if I'll hit anything. Oh, there's my, uh, <laughs> there's my time-lapse camera and my little wind meter thingy. Let me wrap around to the other side real quick. There's my trees. If I go equal with those, roughly, those are around 75 feet tall. All right, so again, this is like 9.30, 9.45 now. And you can see only like one, two, three, four, five panels maybe have sun on them, which isn't producing very much. I could totally be using a lot more power right now. All right, time now is 10 a.m. And look how clear that is. Yeah, that's amazing. We could walk over here real quick and we're only getting one panel right here. And we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, that sixth one still has a little tiny shade piece right there. I don't know. That spot's looking really, really good right now. Alrighty, quick shadow and time check. It is now 11 a.m. And it kind of looks like most of the sun gold power panels are clear. Maybe a couple straggler shadows right there. But this array right here, you can clearly see we still have quite a bit of shadows right here. I think it'll be maybe 11.30 or so before we get these full sun. But we'll find out here in about 30 minutes. But that whole area is looking fan-freaking-tastic. Alrighty, another quick shadow time check. Time now is 11.37. Sun gold power panels are clear. We still have a couple shadows on these three panels right here. So this might be, might actually be clear around 12 o'clock. But we'll find out here in just a second. Damn, just got up here, it's 12 o'clock. My time-lapse camera is on its side. So I don't know, I'm not sure how long it's been down. So I don't know if we actually got the full shadow, you know, going across the whole array or not. Alrighty, now it is 12 o'clock and look what we have now. Clouds everywhere. Oh, here's, here's a little bit of sun. Okay, anyway, 12 o'clock. We had a little tiny shade right there on that corner, right there, okay? Come on, clouds, just give me a break. That might just take a few more minutes and then we'll have full sun on every single panel. All right, so it goes back to my question at the beginning of the video after reviewing all of the shadowing, etc., on my roof and how long it takes for that shadow to go away over there. So my thoughts are moving the sun gold power panels to this roof right over here and I could have be I could be charging for at least 3 hours by now. Again, it is in the middle of summer. It's actually June 13th. So the solstice, you know, the the longest that the sun will be in the sky you know, is like a week away. But that's besides the point. The main thing is kind of for wintertime charging. Should I move the sun gold power panels over to the east facing roof, obviously, so I can charge sooner, and then reinstall the 12 Santan solar panels up there. And if I do that, like I said earlier, I can install 12 more of the Santan solar panels, you know, back right up there. Can have all of those panels on one single array and then obviously an array right there all by itself on array two or whatever and then i can just keep the ground mounts you know on array three unless we put another one right back here with those jinko panels or, or something like that and then i could put the ground mount on like another charge controller or something and use those as well all right if you want to see the power at 12 15 we're making 6,832 watts. I do have a pretty big load on the house right now, 4,000 watts, but we're charging the battery at 2,300 watts. If you wanna see what each array is doing now, we'll scroll down here. Again, 6,800 watts. Array one, which is the Santan solar panels, we're doing 2,000 watts. The Sun Gold power panels are doing 3,500 watts. 
and then the ground mount is doing 1170 watts. Uh, of course, again, you can see the voltages and how many amps down below. I would imagine this will go up a little bit higher as the sun gets more centered in the sky. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got. Let me know what your thoughts are just in case I'm missing something, and I will see you on the...